Hi everybody, naturalist Kristen here at the FEA Nature Center. It's a beautiful sunny spring day, which means our reptile friends have come out of brumation and that includes the rattlesnakes. Now, if you're out here for a hike and you see a rattlesnake on the trail, we recommend that you follow the three L's. Listen, locate, and leave. First L, you listen, listen for the rattle, make sure that it is actually a rattlesnake locate where the rattle is coming from and then simply leave simply just walk away from the snake i promise you 100 percent a rattlesnake will not chase you they want to use their venom on predators and prey they do not want to use their venom on us you are very welcome to of course observe from a safe distance but the safest thing for you and the snake is just for you to walk away and leave it alone there are snakes out here called gopher snakes that look kind of like rattlesnakes there are a couple things that you can look for to really determine whether or not you're looking at a gopher snake or a rattlesnake. And the first one is that rattlesnakes have very big diamond shaped heads. That's where their venom sacs are in their head. It sits right there. Like they look like big old cheeks. Uh, gopher snakes have um, smaller, more uh, oval shaped heads. And of course, there is that big, beautiful rattle at the end of the tail. That's very, very noticeable. If you see a gopher snake, that of course won't have a rattle at the end of it. Now I understand that during this period of time we have to practice social distancing. So if you're out on the trails and you're about to pass someone coming the opposite way, we recommend that you just step to the side of the trail and let that person pass by you. Maybe you can turn around, look at a beautiful tree or a squirrel or something, let that person walk on by. Because if both of you separate and try to go off the trail to avoid each other, that puts, puts you and rattlesnakes at risk. We don't want you uh, stepping on a rattlesnake and we also don't want you to get any ticks on you. There are a lot of ticks out in the grass that will easily jump onto your leg if you're out there. So please do your absolute best to practice social distancing and staying on the trails. Thank you all so much for tuning in with us and supporting the FEA Nature Center. Hello everyone, Naturalist Sara here. Thanks so much for learning a little bit about rattlesnakes with us today. I did find a really cool hands-on craft of a paper snake. I will link a video tutorial right over here. Just click that and it will take you on how to do it. It's really easy and simple, especially for the kids. As always, thanks so much for supporting us. We can't do this without you.